Did you miss me? Hello and welcome back to another Photo Nerd University tutorial. Sorry we've been away, but we've been uh, on assignment doing teaching some workshops out in Joshua Tree National Park. But now we're back and we're ready to bring you some more Lightroom, Photoshop videos, those types of things. And while we've been away, a lot of you have been posting comments on our videos on this channel and lots of really great feedback. We've done our best to go through and answer everyone's questions. If we've missed you, go ahead and leave a comment down below and we'll be sure to get back to you. But one of the comments that we got was in regards to all of these Nick filter videos that we've been doing. It seems like a lot of you have really enjoyed watching these videos, but you still have some questions in regards to a few things and how they work. Ira Bruce, and he writes, an informative video, Adam. However, once you dropped in the control points and failed to use the sliders, it begged the question, how do those control point sliders affect the image? Even though you were happy with the image once you dropped in the control points, I would have liked to have seen how those control point sliders would have changed the image and their functionality. A missed teaching opportunity. Now, Ira... I'm not one for challenges, but that sounds like one. And so I wanted to take a second to answer this question. And as I gave it some thought, it's really a difficult question to answer in just one video. I feel like if I were to do one video on all the control points within the seven different filters that Nick Filters is giving us, I would really be selling you short or I would be creating a video that was like an hour long. And while I don't want to create a video that's that long, because one of the things that I think is an advantage about our channel is that our videos are shorter and usually touch on one topic at a time. So I don't want to make a video that's an hour long, but what if we made a video for each one of the seven filters that Nick Collections offers and talk about how the control points in each of those filters worked. I think that that's a more productive way because whether you are a user using color effects or silver effects or something like that, then you can go to our video specifically for that filter and know exactly how the control points work. So what we're going to do is exactly that. We're going to create a video for each one of the seven filters that Nick Collection offers, and we're going to create a playlist specifically to talk about the control points and how they work differently in each of those applications. Hopefully you will enjoy this series. We'd love to hear what you have to say about it and leave us a comment down below. One more thing. We understand the confusion with respect to control points and all the different variations that are offered. So what we've done is created a print-friendly PDF that you could actually print if you were interested in just taking a closer look as to what these different seven control points uh, in each application offers. You can find that on our Patreon page. We'll put a link down in the description below if that's something that you're interested in. If not, without further ado, let's jump into the first in this seven series, Color Effects.